hopefully that lens doesn't grow. You're just picking up on what he heard. I, I can't recall. Where did where did DJK originate? Was that before you got here, or was it back home? That was uh, right here in Iowa City. Um, and it's, it's rolling around. The, everywhere, everybody I talk to, Facebook, inbox, email, everything is DJK. I'm not sure people uh, even know my real name anymore. So, But um, yeah, I love it. I'm embracing it. Um, you know, it happens. It comes with the territory of, uh, you know, being a college athlete. Uh, things like that will, will happen all the time. When uh, I, I talked earlier with Marvin and, and, and Keenan. And, with McNutt and, and Davis and, and said that I was never really been known as a wide receiver school. But this year, with you know you guys out there and some people underneath, you may have a chance to maybe leave your own legacy. Do you guys talk about that, maybe putting the receivers on the map? Daily. Uh, maybe hourly sometimes. Um, right now we got uh, we got some depth, a receiver quality depth, uh, more quality depth than we've had in a long time, uh, maybe ever. Um, you know, normally I was known, uh, you know, smash mouth football, run it down your throat, smack you in the face type football. But uh, this year, uh, you know, we're going to be fancy. Uh, I promise you that. Um, you know, our O line, uh, you know, they get it done up front. We got a, a you know, plethora of running backs, who, you know, who are ready to run it. And uh, that's going to open up for the guys. You know, why? I mean, Marvin, like I said, Marvin and Keenan Davis are absolute freaks. I mean, those guys. You know, I watched them in practice. Keenan today made some, some outstanding catches. Um, you know, those guys have made some serious, major, measurable progress. Um, you, know, you know, like I said, they're freaks. You know, you know, I'm just, a, you know, I'm, a, I'm from Ohio, so I'm a natural born playmaker. Even if I didn't want to, I'd make plays. Um, you know, those guys are freaks. So to play alongside them this year, it's going to be a ball, and uh, you know, we're going to be fancy. Now, for the offense to be fancy, that means you have to give them back the ball, since you'll be the one catching it off the kick. Lester said that you really came on big time the second half of last season. What clicked for you in that part of your game? Um, just the consistency. I, at the end of the year there, they had me back there, and I started getting comfortable. And, it's, you know, sometimes it, I'm back there and I'm not. And I just have to, get re, you know, I have to get comfortable again. And I start seeing scenes. I start seeing holes. I, you know, I know where I'm going. And really right now, uh, the kickoff game is, is, is uh, what I'm most excited about. You know, I, want, I can't wait uh, to return kicks this year. That can be a ticket to the league. It could be, you know, it could be, uh, it could be, and uh, you know, being a receiver could also be. Right. A ticket. Thrill, do you do you like media day? You see, you seem like you're you're soaking this in. You like these media. We day. should have one a week. <laughs> we should have a media day a week. Do you think you'd be is, allowed to speak? This is bigger than O State week. You know, media day. I, I can't even. I couldn't sleep last night. You know, usually I can't sleep for uh, you know big games, Penn State, uh, whiteouts. Uh, but media day, there's something about it, man. There's just this. This, this area, this is or in the air that I just, you know, I couldn't say. No, I'm just kidding. But I look forward <laughs> to meeting it. It's, uh, it's a fun time. You guys do a phenomenal job uh, with coverage, you know, positive coverage, and, uh, you know, helping us uh, you know, with, with our national spotlight.